Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started since we are now <laughs> 45 minutes down. Um, okay, so the first thing we wanted to do, ooh, sorry, hit the table. Um, for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Melissa. I am Melissa President, and our exec board is here online, and you'll get to meet them all as we go through. Um, but the first thing we want to do is just introduce our new first year representative. So our first one for our main campus is Dylan. If you want to just kind of <laughs> briefly introduce yourself or kind of. Um, yeah, like to the microphone or to y'all or. Uh, the microphone can pick you up, but. Yeah, we can hear you, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can hear me? Okay, good. Uh, my name is Dylan. Uh, this is my first semester here at uh, UNCG. Um, I work at the TRC down the uh, down the hall, so I won't have a problem uh, coming here. Um, I'm excited to excited to learn more, I guess. Awesome. Well, we're excited to have you. Um, and then Bell Outwater is our distance person. Me. Representative, I don't see her logged in, so um, she might be joining us later. Um, Has anybody heard from her? Yeah, I she, have. Yeah, yeah, we heard from her via Facebook. I think she was just busy and out of town. Okay. Yeah, she was um, traveling for work. <laughs> She's safe. <laughs> um, so we'll hopefully get an introduction from her later. Um, so, offer, officer reports, um, the main thing for me is just we had a faculty meeting a couple of weeks ago and just a couple of tidbits. The biggest thing is right now academic integrity is becoming a slight issue with the department and a lot of the faculty are a little unnerved. So, they want to make sure that everybody is aware of our academic integrity policy, which we'll be sending out, as well as um, avoiding plagiarism, which keeps popping up quite a bit for some reason in some of our classes. Um, so they just want to make sure that everybody is aware of that and we'll be setting out the links, but you can read the academic integrity policy um, on the UNCG website in the Office of Student Rights. Um, they have that online, but just be aware of it. Don't plagiarize. Pretty simple. Um, Dr. Bird let everybody know that there are officially 335 students enrolled in the program, which is really good for us. We're quite happy about that. We have fairly competitive enrollment now, which is nice. It shows that we're really growing as a department. Um, and then the last really big thing is there is discussion of not having a booth at ALA this year. Um, so this past summer, a bunch of us went to ALA, um, and we did have a booth at the conference um, just to kind of promote the program. Um, they're deciding they're probably not going to do that this year, but that means we'll have an opportunity for more students to attend. So if anyone is interested in going to ALA, there's a good chance we'll be able to go. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's midwinter. This right, one is that's yeah. Midwinter. This one is for the full Washington, summer Washington, one yeah, yeah, in okay. DC. So um, if anyone wants to go to Legislative Day and then immediately turn around and go back for ALA. But it's a lot of fun. You get a lot of free stuff. So those are the main big things. And then um, we'll also be talking about later, um, the department is working on a diversity initiative, which we are kind of piggybacking on in our own way. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, but then also the Student Faculty Welfare Committee, which I'm a representative on, is working on a placement platform for job placement. Um, so the big thing while we're working on that is if anyone knows of any internships or jobs or if they work somewhere that they're looking for interns or volunteers or anything um, to please either send it to me or yeah just send it to me um, and my email I'll, I'll send out something to the list there but basically yeah if you could put it in the chat um, what we want is just um, more opportunities for all the students to get experience out in the field. So we have a lot of students who are working somewhere or interning already where they know there are open positions and we just want to kind of get that out to everyone. Um, and then job placement will be the main thing for soon to be graduates um, and recent graduates working with the department on getting job placement. So those are the biggest things from those two meetings um, and all I have for my report. Victoria, once you finish typing. Yeah, um, sorry, I'm trying to enter this information into the dinosaurs. Uh, just 
Dell computers. <laughs> like, I... You're doing great. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Oh, um, Allison's asking if we can take attendance. Sure. And does she just want that included in the minutes, or does she want to answer now, or...? Oh, no, I just, I, just for data, so we can record oh. people. <laughs> I have eight total, including everybody in online. Okay, okay so, um, Vice President? So, the only thing that really is going on with me is I have not checked back in with Letitia because she said she confirmed, so I feel like we don't really have anything else to do other than to kind of get her set up a couple weeks ahead of time, but that's still a ways out. Um, but I... For the, the presentation? Yes. The, um, we're having her speak to Lissa, I believe it's October 22nd from 2 to 3. Um, it will be a special meeting that we're going to focus on with our diversity initiative. She's going to kind of kick it off, um, and we're going to lead up to that with some social media postings about um, the initiative itself. And um, currently, I'm working on the National Hispanic Heritage Month social media post. I'm going to present the executive board with two different options for social media probably later this week, but um, before we get started on posting about that, I kind of wanted to introduce the initiative as is, as like what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, and essentially all Lissa is doing is we're trying to create conversations around diversity in the LIS profession. And um, I came back from a conference over the summer, it was called the Metrolina Conference, and it happened in Charlotte, and one of the speakers spoke about diversity and going beyond just throwing the word around, you know, because people talk about how the LIS profession is white and female um, and what are the things we can do to change that, but then making those things actually into it, like changing, making the steps to have those things turn into actions. Um, and I think that's kind of what Lissa's working on and I've yet to kind of make a cohesive post about that. So if you guys have any ideas, you want to email me, I will put my email up as well because I want to craft that sometime later this week to go out before we make the Hispanic Heritage post. Um, but that's it for me, I think. Other than, oh, the last thing is I attended the Graduate Student Association meeting and for anyone who doesn't understand what the Graduate Student Association does, they actually provide funding for you to attend conferences, help with your research if you're doing anything that you think you might need money for. Um, and their deadline for funding for um, this semester, I believe I said it was October 15th. And basically what you do is you apply for the funding regardless of whether you are planning to go next semester um, and you can just say, hey, I need this much money up to $500, and they'll give you $1,000 um, a, a year over two semesters, so it would be $500 each semester. And essentially, it is a reimbursement program because they have state, fed they have state regulations that they can't provide you money up front. You have to get it reimbursed, so just keep any receipts and all that thing. But it is available, and they're looking to start a financial committee um, to get students involved with that process so it's not just their treasurer who's responsible for that, um, to hold more people accountable to the process. So if you guys are interested in that at all, let me know and I can hook you up with that. So, and I think they're really eager to spend that money. They really encourage They're yeah. like always really um, eager. If they don't disperse all of the funds yeah. they get each year, they get a cut back the next year. So they want to keep spending the money. So if anyone is interested in doing research or anything and wants to get funded, that's a great way, and we can um, post some more information about that if anyone's interested. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Like, if you, so upcoming for spring break, usually what our department does is they try to pair students looking for experience over the full week with, you know, you fill out an application, and sometimes you'll get paired somewhere where you have to commute, and you could apply for those funds for the Graduate Student Association and saying, hey, I just commuted for this you know, thing, and you could call it like professional development essentially, because that's what it is. And you could get that money reimbursed to you 
because the department I don't think is going to do that this year like they did last year. So that's just one of the ideas that you could use to get that going. Sorry, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so treasure report from Nayla. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Nayla, the treasurer. <laughs> Um, so I took over our student account last year from Hannah, who was the previous um, treasurer, and our balance from April 2018 was um, $973.15. We had a fundraiser last year that was pretty successful. Um, not very much has happened since that, except that <laughs> <laughs> so we won um, student chapter of the year last year from ALA. And, um, we got re received a prize money that was a thousand dollars, and this money was to go to to attend ALA for students, and so we did that. We sent some students to ALA, um, and ALA took some time to send us the check. Still taking some time. Still taking some time. I have an email that says. They put it in the mail, so it must be on their way. Maybe it's somewhere in the hurricane mail and <laughs> delayed a little bit. Well, we haven't received it yet, but we're waiting on it. Um, in between, we had to reimburse the students who actually went to ALA to the conference, and we reimbursed students from our student account. We just gave them the money so they Yeah, we just reimbursed them, like, in the meantime, we're still waiting on the check. So it's plus minus zero right now, it, it says. <laughs> um, it's about $4 on our account right now, which is due to the reimbursement Ooh. of the students, but we're still waiting for the check. Um, so have we, looks are we going to reach right back now. out to them? And so, say, hey, yeah. <clears throat> you said it was in the mail, but we haven't received it. Yeah, my plan was to um, head back to Greg tomorrow. He's not in today. So okay. I was going to ask Greg tomorrow if there's anything in the mail. And if there's nothing in the mail, I'm going to get back to him. Kimberly from ALA and ask her when exactly they put the check in the mail. Because in between, we can't, we can't do very much with $4 right now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, technically, we have more money. <laughs> not here. That's not right here at the um, moment. So yeah, that's that's all I have to say right now. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Ashley. Okay. So um, hi everybody. I'm Ashley, the secretary. As of right now, I don't have anything to report because I haven't attended any committee meetings yet. But I'll be serving as the um, backup GSA representative. Um, Tori went to the last meeting, so I'll go to the next one. Um, so at our next with the meeting, I can report to you on that. But um, I will be assisting everybody else with their projects, like with Tori's um, diversity um, project. I'll be assisting with that, probably. Okay. Um, and then Allison? Yes. Um, so hi, I'm Allison. I'm, I don't know if you can see me or not, I'm the communications manager. Um, basically, I uh, just want everybody to follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, our numbers have gone up. I don't have exact data for how much they've gone up, but we're trending in an upward direction as far as views. Um, and really, we, we're trying to post a couple times a week um, and just kind of keep everybody informed about what's going on. Um, as far as on my end, if there's anything, any cool events that you hear about or something that you want me to throw up on the social media page, just let me know. Um, we're going to be doing a feature soon on our new first year representative. I'm excited to get that up into the public. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about meetups um, and things like that later, but that's kind of what I've been busy doing. Okay, awesome. Uh, so as we've already mentioned before, our big thing this year is by diversity initiatives. Um, so it was it came to the attention of Dr. Connor and the LAS department that certain students um, were they brought up the fact that they don't feel that it's very diverse in our program, not just with the student body, but 
in the course materials we use and the readings we have, um, some of the authors that maybe the materials classes focus on. Um, so the department as a whole is looking to possibly do a diversity edit of the curriculum amongst other things. Um, so we figured we would make that our big thing for the years, focusing specifically on that as well and working with the department. Um, and we've already got a couple of things in the work, but work. So the biggest thing is, um, at least upcoming, is our presentation um, from Leticia Velez, one of our professors here that Tori is setting up, which she already discussed. <laughs> um, but we have the date for that and the time. Um, so we're going to be sending that out once we've got everything officially set up. Um, but we're looking to, alongside doing seminars and um, meetings and things like that, is working on also presenting everyone with um, materials and things that they can use to um, promote diversity and have a discussion about it in their own libraries that they're working in. Um, so we'll be posting information on maybe books or materials they can use or um, just maybe diversity panels that we've seen um, at conferences that are re recorded that were really good. Um, so we'll be posting those periodically throughout the semester and the year as we go. And alongside that, um, this week is actually Lissa's 30th birthday. Um, so it's going to be part of our like anniversary year initiative. Um, Tori, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, I don't think so. I was thinking about like for Allison, for you, I think it would be really cool. Um, I know we have a lot of social media ideas. But <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I thought would be interesting would to be highlighting the um, students we already have in our program who have diverse backgrounds and kind of reaching out to them and saying, you know, we're looking to show kind of who we are as a student group um, and to talk about what diversity means to them, like whatever it could be. I don't know. It's not fully formed, but I thought that would be an interesting, you know, put a face to the topic, show people that who we are and kind of, I don't know. Okay. Well, kind of piggybacking on that, if any student or Alyssa member um, has a really great book they'd like to recommend or um, if they were ever on a project or something, um, anything related to diversity, it doesn't have to be just ethnic diversity, but We've been talking about um, intergenerational diversity um, and just really anything you can imagine. If you've ever had anything you'd like to suggest um, to either contact Ashley or Tori, because um, we'd love to hear it and we'd love to include it in one of the posts. So this is definitely not just an exec board thing, but if anyone has anything they're interested in or would like to bring forward, we'd definitely appreciate that. For sure. Um, anything else from the rest of the exec board? Okay, um, so Allison, we're turning it over to you. For All a right. So let's see. I'm going to share my screen because we've done a couple surveys. We like to collect data and get your feedback. Um, so let me share my screen so you all can see uh, some survey results. So we did um, a satisfaction survey. And I'm trying to figure out how to move this little guy here. There we go. Okay. So we had about 14 responses, which is pretty typical from surveys that we've done in the past. <clears throat> we don't have a huge number of responses, but we try to get the word out there. Um, and so we had kind of a mix of people that have participated in LISA and were um, also, also new to LISA. Um, and basically some themes of people, are, what people are hoping to see from LISA. We had a lot of themes of um, connecting with other students, uh, meetups, um, opportunities to get involved. There's one that says research, but opportunities to get involved on just any event on campus. So that's really a big part of what I'm trying to do as communications manager <clears throat> is kind of promote the events that are going on. Um, but really connecting with others was kind of a major theme. Um, that that uh, came out there. Um, so people are generally satisfied with LISA. Um, all uh, five, seven of them 
um, so we're we're on a three to five scale there. So we take what we can get. Um, and people like are liking some things about Lissa. Some people don't know what we have to offer. Um, so it's about you know kind of publicizing what we're offering, um, but learning about what's happening around and um, connecting to others. Um, there's some requests about meetups. Meetups are uh, kind of a new thing for us. We just started them last year, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. But um, some people have different ideas on what meetups might look like, um, and maybe doing more service for our community. So that might be something that we kind of um, think about in the future. So that's our satisfaction survey. And then let's see, here is our um, distance survey. And so we survey distance students to get an idea of what they need because they make up the majority of our population. Um, and we had 13 responses here. It was during the hurricane, so maybe that affected our response rate. Um, but anyway, it looks like that everybody that filled it out said they are interested in meetups, which was different from the last year survey. So that's pretty cool. So meetups, um, we're really excited about those. Um, we have people from all over the state. Um, that's pretty neat as well. And so uh, we will, will hopefully get um, different representatives uh, from the west to the east. We have quite a lot of people centrally located for meetups. Um, and then what is the, you know, when are you available? Um, so it looks like people, you know, we know that you're busy and you work full-time jobs um, and, and you're doing school and it takes up a lot of time. So it looks like evenings and weekends are still kind of the, the best time for meetups. And then we have a couple people who are interested in um, being involved. So we're going to reach out to them and really get, try to get something coordinated for this semester. So it will really be dependent on, um, you know, how much effort that our students are putting in to really get these coordinated. So um, we're really hopeful that we can um, get these off the ground and maybe get some new locations as well. Uh, so people want to know about meetups. People want to connect. So that's kind of the same as what we were saying before. Um, so basically, let me unshare my screen because that's really all I have. Let's see. Um, but basically, uh, you know, we want to get some things set up. And like I said, it really just depends on um, how, how involved the people that are hosting want to be with meetups. Um, so if, there's, if you know of anybody who wants to do a meetup, we're looking for people actually um, on the East Coast and in the mountains uh, specifically. I think we have quite a few people in the Greensboro area. Um, I think we have someone in Charlotte who's interested, and I believe Raleigh-Durham. Um, hopefully we can get those going. But really all it comes down to is just planning a meetup and saying, hey, we're going to meet at this time, this location, and Lisa will do all the publicity for them. So you can do something as easy as just going to a coffee shop and hanging out. You could go see a movie that might be relevant to the profession. Um, it, it really just depends on what you want to do. So that's my plug for meetups. Um. Um, fantastic. So the next thing is just um, upcoming events that we wanted to kind of list. Um, so this Friday is actually a NCLA Fabulous Friday in Asheville at the PAC Memorial Library. I believe registration is closed for that at this point. Um, there are three Fabulous Fridays this semester um, that are for public librarians, and it's just an all-day kind of mini conference thing NCLA is putting on. Um, but Dr. Chow will be at this Fabulous Friday, um, I guess, representing the department, and he wanted to know if anyone in the Asheville area wanted to do a meetup, maybe afterwards at around 4.30 or 5. Um, we haven't gotten any interest yet, but if anyone wants to, if they could just let us know and we can pass it on to him. Um, he'll be at the PAC Memorial Library all day and be there until about 4, 4.30. So if anyone wants to go meet up with him, he's really interested in meeting people. Um, and then the next Fabulous Friday is October 5th, and that's in Winston-Salem at the Central Library. Um, the same kind of thing. It's an all-day thing until about 4. So if anyone, registration is still open for that one, I believe. Um, and it's what I meant to say is it's like $20 for students, and that includes lunch. So if anyone is interested in that, um, and we can schedule a meetup as well if anyone in the Winston-Salem area would like to do one. Um, and then 
Also, right after that is October 12th is um, the NCLA Conference for Entrepreneurial Librarians um, at Wake Downtown. Um, that's being done by Mike Crumpton, who works here and is also our president of NCLA. Uh, he's looking for volunteers, so anyone who would like to kind of help out with that, they can kind of help out with like the registration table and things. Um, also an all-day thing, um, but I think he's doing shifts. Um, but if anyone wanted to go to that, registration has to be in by October 5th, and it's $25 for students, lunch included, and free parking. Um, also on October 12th, that is the final Fabulous Friday, and that is in Wilmington at the New Hanover Main Library. At this point in time, I have not heard anything about that being moved. Um, I know New Hanover is still dealing with a lot of hurricane recovery, but as of right now, it's still set for the main library in Wilmington. Um, once again, all the same time and information, and anyone in the Wilmington area wants to do a meetup, please let us know. <laughs> um, our next LISA general meeting is October 15th, uh, same time, Monday, 2 to 3 p.m. in School of Ed 302. And then our last thing, at least for the coming weeks, is uh, Monday, October 22nd, the week right after that, from 2 to 3 is Leticia Velez's diversity presentation. Um, and as of right now, I think we're still in 302 for that one. Um, if that changes, we'll let everyone know. Um, so that's upcoming events. If anybody knows of anything, let um, Allison know so she can kind of promote it and let us know. <laughs> um, but that's what we've got on the docket for now. Uh, any old business? I know this is our first meeting of the semester, so we don't really have much. Anything we haven't discussed? <laughs> okay. Um, any new business? Anything anybody wanted to bring up or discuss? Anything? I was wondering about a fundraiser, if we want to do that again or not, just here with the general. I'm thinking the t-shirts is the route to go. <laughs> yeah, we had a really good t-shirt and tote bag fundraiser last year um, with original artwork. It was really cool. Um, we sold a lot of them. Actually, all of them. Don't we have like maybe one tote bag left? Yes, we do have one tote bag. <laughs> if anybody wants a tote bag for $10. Um, yes. But yeah, we did really good with that last year. So. And it rolls up and snaps. And we did that together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I can con well, I'll talk to Hannah and see who it was that she was in contact with last year. And she, she still yeah. has um, some information up on the, on the um, Google Drive mm -hmm. as uh, Stitch Fix has been mm -hmm. done on her act or intro. And they, um, yeah, she has some information. So if we wanted to reproduce anything like that or... We could just keep going with library puns. Because yeah. okay. that one was, can I get your call number? Yeah. <laughs> if you're a book, I'd check you out. Oh, that's and yeah, like, oh, we could do something like this uh, 30 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's probably more appropriate. And, it, and mm -hmm. I think it, it worked out really well, especially for um, our distance students were able to participate, and we were able to mail them out, so that worked out really well. Yeah. Um, I'll try to come to you with information about that and some ideas. Okay. Um, and if anyone has any ideas for maybe another, a different fundraiser in the spring, we're kind of, um, we'd be hard pressed to get it in in the fall semester now with all of our deadlines um, mm -hmm. because they make you jump through hoops. Um, but if anyone has anything they'd like to look at for maybe the spring, any original ideas, <laughs> we can start looking at it and get the paperwork in. Um, yeah, I was just, I just wanted to yeah. throw that in too. Okay. Yeah, and even once we get that check from ALA, it'll be nice to have. Right. Yeah. I'm already like <laughs> trying to picture this t-shirt in my mind. We could do like a big bat whistle logo on the front, like right in the center. Okay, mm -hmm. but remember I can't have Minerva in it anymore. <gasps> Yeah, with the new rebranding of the University of Minerva, it's not allowed to be in any of the logos. So will we need to contact Cap about the designing a new one for us? Yeah, we need a new logo then. I mean, we can design it ourselves. We just can't put Minerva in it. Oh, okay. It doesn't gotcha. have to go to Cap. Taylor, we're going to buy a t-shirt. Say that again. 
I'm just asking, yeah. I'm just wondering from somebody that's not an officer on the officer board, like what your perspective are, or Erica, if you're online and you want to chime in, like as as t-shirts, like. Uh, yeah, love one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get that really soft cotton, like. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know if that'll be more, more they got the comfort the colors way. last year. <laughs> the comfort Anna colors. and those dang comfort colors. Um, yeah, so I guess, I mean, they always seem to be a big hit, but we can also send out if anyone has like original artwork mm -hmm. that's in the student body that would like to. Well, I guess we have to read. Well, Alice, you could just ask Anna. Uh -oh. Is that because this thing turned off for a second? Could be. Uh, Can you uh, do audio check in the settings? Oh. Oh, well, Erica I don't really know. You want to mute us and then unmute us? Oh, she's lightning. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun stuff. Fun like, t-shirts. <laughs> God, if we could design a logo now. We could do that for the 30th anniversary post. It's really not that hard to make a logo. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but we got to do it. Because um, now it's outdated. We, we could unveil a new logo for the 30th anniversary. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Before we can even make a t-shirt, we kind of get the logo fixed. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to do the logo, and then we'll look into doing t-shirts and getting designs for those. Um, anything else for anyone? Hopefully people watch this. Yep. Okay. I guess that the only thing for me is I'm just going to do another social media plug. Um, the more, and Morgan talked about this last year. And the more that we all individually like posts, um, mm -hmm. I try to like all the posts for Lissa because the more that we like them, um, the more that they're going to get out there to the public. So if you can and you're on Facebook and you're just scrolling through or whatever, just, you know, take a couple minutes to go like Lissa's stuff or whatever because that will get us more visibility. And I think yeah. that's really where people are following us. So, um, Yeah, any engagement. So even if you want to just comment on it <laughs> and like it. Um, the same thing with Instagram, the algorithm um, boosts posts based on engagement, so mm. just like and comment. All right, if there's nothing else, once again, we managed to knock it out before the time limit. Um, I guess I will adjourn this general meeting. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Um, Thanks, everybody. We want to, once you get the minutes up, I guess we can post that with, when should we have the recording up and just post them together online. Okay. Yeah, great. All right. Erica, thank you so much for joining us online.